It's all about hair today. Hair, skin, nails, hair, hair. How are you all? Um, how many of you uh, send me a thumbs up or whatever of who were with us last night at Big Al's Bar? That was fun. That was fun. That was really fun. And um, what did we do after that? We, we had, oh, you made me the best dinner oh, of I, ever. And then I went and I made dinner, which I That did. was a surprise. Great I know, dinner. I know. You had one happy, <laughs> happy. I, it's really fun to be the only child here yeah. sometimes, I have to say. <laughs> Can you tell them about the dinner you made? So I had an ounce of caviar. And I was thinking of saving it for tomorrow night Valentine's, but Caroline was here and I knew she would so love this dinner. And we had had a, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and we had had a really nice lunch, a lot of vegetables and things. So I baked a potato, a russet potato, nothing better, right? And you wash a russet potato and then you uh, sprinkle salt on it wet, okay? Put it in hot and cook it till it's like crusty on the outside, a little over an hour. And when it like, you, you poke it and it kind of makes a hard sound. Then I opened it and then <laughs> I put some butter in it and smooshed it all around. And then I put a big scoop of creme fraiche. And then the three of us shared this, um, actually it was two ounces of caviar. Yes, we did. And we had a big mound of caviar. And then I pan fried steaks and cut them into little strips. So they're rare but juicy. Poured all the juice over the steak. And that was our dinner. And I, my pleasure, I love the potato and everything, but my pleasure was watching Caroline eat. <laughs> She's an eater. That's another of the many reasons I love Caroline. I finished my plate. There was nothing, not even a, mar a morsel. I actually, I, uh, I gave in. I, I left most of my potato skin, which I normally wouldn't, but I loved watching Caroline eat. Well, I really appreciated that, so I'm, yes. I'm really glad. <laughs> it, it's really sweet. You and I, we have an admiration society with yeah. cooking, because yeah. when you are a cook and you have somebody else's great food and yep. you know what it like I yep. know that that was a really special thing for yep. you to share with me yeah yeah that was Caroline and great. I understand the bits on the bottom of the pan we understand crust on meats fish chicken everything about that's where I always say the balls of the food are and whenever I'm over at someone's house and they're throwing out the pan with all the bits on the bottom my insides go no yeah no. But that was I a big thing that yeah. you, um, you taught me a lot about soup. I taught you about In soup. my life and gravy or pan drippings. Yes, yeah. that would be my thing, soup and yeah. gravy. Thanks, Al. And pan drippings. I taught Al about soup too. Al, Al didn't eat soup before me. Mm -hmm. You had so much soup growing up. <laughs> I remember being out with my uh, Aunt Helen, my Auntie Helen. And we used to go out on one another's birthdays. My sister, my mother, my sister-in-law, Auntie Helen and me. And we'd all get a little drunk at lunch. It was fun. Five women of different ages getting a little drunk. A little drunk is like two glasses of wine. And Auntie Helen announced one day, is, I'm not eating any more salads. I'm sick of salads. So, <laughs> your dad never ate soup again and Auntie Helen never ate salad again. <laughs> all right, well today we have a big hair care show. Um, yes. Uh, you, you, so there, I just saw that our, that our feed went out just for a moment, but we're back. Um, big category sale, sale on hair today, Suzanne. I know. You know, I was doing yoga this morning with my yoga teacher, and she said, how do you get your hair like that? This thing here? Yeah, we need to get all your hair in the front so that everyone okay. can see how incredible okay. I even did the back is. of my hair. This, this is not the first thing up. I said, it's this. Uh, without this, my hair doesn't look like this, but it's... <laughs> meadow foam seed oil and abyssinian seed oil do you have any of that in your house no and you put about 10 pumps in your hand and then pull it through your wet hair oh my then when you blow dry it just haphazard and then your flattening iron i take this i take like five sections and i'm done so it is dramatically reduced styling time so and and gives your hair like one of the things you know, I always am very open about my age because you can't lie about your age anyway anymore. That people Google while while they're talking to you, you know they're on the phone. How old is Suzanne Summers? <laughs> <laughs> so I always do that. I always am very open about my age. But one of the things I love that I didn't think that I'd be able to have at 72 is good hair. There are a few reasons I have good hair. I do believe that I'm on hormone replacement 
that um, that has a lot to do with uh, keeping all the messengers going in your body. But I use non-toxic organic hair products, which is what we brought for you today, and it's a great buy, and Caroline will tell you what a great buy it is. But the shampoo and the conditioners, that's what I use. I use our shampoo, our conditioner, and then I put the activating serum on, and then if I want to get a fuller look than this, I put the styling gel at the roots and um, blow it dry out like that. It's great stuff, and then if you have flyaways, we have this hair gloss that you just put a couple of drops in and do this and just pull it through. So we're going to start with the volumizing shampoo. Why is it volumizing shampoo? Because it gives you volume. Now you're looking at my hair going, there's not volume. No, I deliberately wanted to go straight to show off my activating serum today. And I also do my hair straight because Al never stops touching it when I do this. Right, Al? I like touching your hair. He likes touching my hair. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I did big hair today. And for Caroline the show, did big hair. And you did the straight. Your hair is so thick. Uh huh. And that you can go, you know, silky super straight and it but looks you can. amazing. I can now because yeah. I've been using your hair, skin, and nail supplement right. for oh, about six also, months. Yeah. Which we, you guys, we put in this special too, even though it's not in our hair product, it's a hair supplement, so we did include it. Yeah. Um, and I my use, hair I, is finally growing back. I had. I had that age-related thinning that I know a lot of you are getting. It's a cortisol yeah. issue, guys. Yeah, and um, it affects nails. It affects the whole hormonal system. So cortisol is an, uh, a hormone. Thyroid's a hormone. Thyroid affects hair, skin, and nails. So our um, supplement of hair, skin, and nails is quite remarkable. I take hey, it every hey, day. Hey, squeaky. And, um, You're squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've never been accused of squeaking. Really. You're, you're squeaking over <laughs> there. <laughs> um, I actually, I forgot that we were doing a hair show today when I came and I didn't bring all of my hair stuff with me. Oh, well, why didn't you ask me? Well, because I had a whole bag of hair products for today's show. Oh, so this oh, morning, well, yeah. I opened up, I mean, your bathrooms here have it, but I had everything in my Facebook and IGTV bag. So I used your volumizing shampoo, volumizing conditioner. Then I used the hair elixir, the volumizing hair elixir at the yes, root. Yeah. And then the activating serum. And so you're gonna have to sit on the wall if you're gonna keep squeaking. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then I, like you said, I blow dried my hair, but I did it not the way yeah. I have to pull it, because I've got curly hair. Yeah. So I did the way... Looks great. And then I used my flattening slash, has a little curl iron, and I did big hair. Our promo code today, guys, for the sale is Big Hair 30 Everything at SuzanneSummers.com in the hair world is 30% off. It's such great product. It took us a long time to come up with, with the perfect organic shampoo and the perfect conditioner. Really a long time, I would say. Over yeah, it was, that was a long time. My whole goal and Caroline's too was, if it's not as good or better, hopefully, than the chemical stuff, then we don't use it. And it took a long time. And I used to buy organic shampoos and organic conditioners. On my hair, it doesn't make any lather at all. And you're supposed to just believe it's cleaning your hair. And the conditioner doesn't do anything. And so we have found a way to lather up. And um, with co cocoa butter. Um, yeah, Suzanne's cleansers are totally non-chemical. Right. There's no sodium lauryl sulfate. She uses cocoa butter cleansers. And they're actually, I mean, I don't know. We're so used to having suds when we wash our hair. We think it's not clean if you don't have those suds. But I get suds with well, this. Well, with this you yeah, do. Yeah. But it's not like. No. But it's, it's not like the, so the when you chemical. you suds, you feel like, okay, I'm really washing my hair. And then I put the. Um, our uh, volumizing conditioner on my hair and let it sit there while I sit in the steam. I like sitting in the steam. Mm -hmm. I just like sitting there and staring and thinking about things. I don't know what. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love my bath. In the bath, I yeah. sit in my bath for a long time. Yeah. I do, because so for did me- Did you have Epsom salts in your room? I did, I oh. used them last night. Oh good, okay. Yeah, yeah. We like, we take a bath, an Epsom salt bath, what, a couple times a week. When you take an Epsom salt bath, you sleep so great. Did you take one last night? Yes, it It's was amazing great. to sleep, isn't it? Absolutely. And then the other benefit is um, you have a really Epsom salts here. We're talking about shampoo and conditioner, of which 
I can wash and condition my hair pretty much every day and it doesn't dry out. Um, the reason I may not do it every day is I'm lazy, just don't feel like doing it. Uh, I wouldn't use any, any other. When I used to use the- Can you tell us what's in your volumizing shampoo while I'm showing this I here? I will. Oh, have to it's read incredible. It. Aloe vera, it's uh, for hydrating. Coconut Before water. There's water also, coconut cleansers, that's where you get the suds and the mild lathering agents. There's pentanol B5 to strengthen the- It's not, that's not in order. That's in, oh. in the, in the actual order, aloe vera juice is, is and then, and, and then, then water. So that's not in order. Those are just your highlights. Okay, it doesn't matter then. Yeah. Because there's African baobab seed. Do you have any of that at home? Who has African baobab? Do you have any African baobab? I have some in my pocket. You do? <laughs> uh, it's amazing all the, the ingredients we get out of Africa. They, there's something going on down there. Must be the... Uh, P.S. I just want to say, you were both right last night. Alan being more specific, saying that argan oil is from Morocco, yeah. which it is. Yeah. And it takes a very long time to grow on that tree. And you saying it was from Africa, which it is from Africa because Africa is the continent. So I just yeah, want to say we're both right. you both enhance one another's knowledge. Yes, yeah. Well, I was right both times. Well, and I didn't know where Gibraltar, Gibraltar was. <laughs> Except was... you're kind of insinuating Africa was a country. Yeah. No, the continent. I said Africa, the continent. Yes. So. Did you? Yes. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. And he did. It's okay. from Morocco. From a tree and of I Morocco. thought Gibraltar was in Ireland. Doesn't it sound <laughs> at Rock of Gibraltar? It just sounds very well, Irish yeah. to me. That's, you know the insurance company, the Rock of Gibraltar. Uh huh. Yeah, there really is a big rock in Gibraltar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I thought we. Irish. And one of our friends confirmed it goes from Spain to Istanbul. Is Strait that where we Gibraltar. took that cruise? So we were there. I don't when, remember. Or Libya, remember Libya? We're, yeah, no, we didn't go to Libya. No, we, we pulled in the port. Libya? Yeah. And wrapping up this tangent, yeah. African baobab. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we go, we get off. But <clears throat> you know I'm enthused about this. Okay, after the, uh, okay. Uh, what is the this African high baobab? This high-performance formula includes nature's powerful nurturing ingredients, including quinoa. Okay. Oh, yeah, another great protein. Help strengthen and leave it soft, smooth, and silky. Quinoa is like an amazing thing. Quinoa pasta, for those of you who are gluten intolerant, quinoa in your shampoo. Quinoa is a morning breakfast. It's great. And you don't get that bloating that you get with oatmeal and things like that. But I'm off on another tangent, aren't I? Okay, then um, the scents are coconut and sweet almond or wild orange peppermint, okay? It's gluten-free, no animal testing, designed to cleanse nature and hydrate, no heavy silicones. Improves shine, enhances elasticity, strengthens hair, eliminates, or not eliminates, prevents breakage, and allows for styling with lift and fullness. I mean, it's just, it's loaded it's an, with great it's stuff. It's incredible. But you didn't pronounce any kind of unpronounceable chemical name, did you? Because there are no chemicals in this. And Some of our incredible natural ingredients sound chemical name-ish, but they're not, just so when you not. see that. Yeah. Like pentanol B5, but it's not. Okay, see this little black dot here? Okay, she's gonna show you closer. We had to earn that, we're really proud of that. That's uh, certified toxic free. You, you can't, it, it's got very stringent guidelines. It has to be grown organically, extracted organically, and nothing upwind or downwind of the product can be toxic to contaminate it. Hard to find on the planet, and we have it on every single one of our hair care products. Uh, we have it on all of our skincare products. We're really, really proud of that. So I, can you tell us about the conditioner, the, the volumizing conditioner and yeah. all these incredible shampoo? Uh -huh. I just want to say, you know, we get convinced that our shampoo or things that cleanse us have to leave us squeaky clean. Yeah. On our skin, we feel like it, feel like it has to be. It doesn't. Right. When you nurture, when you use ingredients that nurture, they still cleanse. And that's what Suzanne's done for you with this Yeah, and shampoo. I used to think squeaky clean meant we got it really clean. I just waited. I would do two and three washes. I only do one wash with the shampoo, and then with all this hair that I have, I do one wash and rinse it out, and then I put the uh, conditioner on. Now, the conditioner took us over a year to come up with too, because um, you want it to do the job, but you don't, the, we're, we're used to. Remember, one of our houses, we've lived in so many houses since the fire, and I had, and um, I kept having to get 
shampoo for dry hair, then shampoo for extra dry hair, then shampoo for for people who color their hair. And conceivably damaged and tired hair. And I'm looking at all this one day, and one of them I picked up was $67. And they're all in kind of that price. And clearly, these amazing chemical conditioners were actually our shampoo and our conditioner for at least two or three years. Um, I, I, that's all I use. My hair doesn't get dry. My scalp doesn't get dry. I have the peace of mind that I'm not putting any additional chemicals. I always say, you know, your brain is up here and when you're washing your hair, and especially with the steam from the shower and everything, all the pores open. Well, guess what's gonna go into, into your, um, that blood barrier around your brain? Do you want it to be chemicals? A lot of them have parabens. Some of them had formaldehyde in it. So we have no, none of that. Aloe vera, again, for hydrating. Squalene, squalene, which is sugarcane stalk. We have the B5 again. That's an amazing hydrating ingredient. Yeah. That is an it makes awesome it elastic yeah. and moisture and wonderful. We've got more African baobab. CL. Yeah, I've got some right here. Yeah. He's oh need, Al never goes anywhere, I don't go anywhere with without that. your African baobab. So I've been <laughs> shampooing my hair twice. Should I only do it once? I only It only like, needs it once. Yeah, it only needs it once. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you don't like put any stuff on your hair other no. than the styling gel. Yeah, and no, that comes right usually, out. Uh, but it's up to you. I mean if you want to. The Brazil. They put the Brazil stuff yeah. on. Yeah, but so do I. Yeah. I use I only I love once. the Brazil stuff. Um for those of you asking, um, it is color safe. So if you color your hair, a duh, I've been our known hairs. to color my hair. Yeah. <laughs> color safe, of course. <laughs> but that's not all. Patty says she loves the hair care line, she won't use anything else. I agree with you, Patty. I really do. I think it's amazing. We have Brazilian obsidian seed. Do you have any of that? Oof, let me check. Yeah, obsidian. Okay. Super nurturing, hydrating ingredient. Helps yeah. strengthen the hair yeah. shaft. Yeah. Okay, then we've got, um, oh, the scents are coconut, sweet almond, and peppermint, whatever whatever you want. Are, the, oh, are, are they choosing their scents? You, yeah, we have two different scents. It's a uh, wild orange mint or the coconut sweet go. almond. Ray wrote me, Ray, um, the pilot Ray. Yep that his wife and daughters just love the peppermint scrub and the shampoo and the everything. And um, could he buy some from us? So I charged him full price. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you can buy it. You should have charged him more, <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> See if he checked it out. He's just such a good guy. He is. <laughs> I send it to him for free. That's all you have to do is call me directly and I'll send you anything for free. So will you talk about that amazing activating serum now? Yeah. Okay. Did I tell you everything? It's, uh, uh, there's more. No the pegs, no parabens, yeah. no silicone, right. no chemical fillers. It's um, cruelty-free. It's made in the USA. Everything you expect from Suzanne. Okay. This. Oh. It'd be hard for me to go on a trip without this. I would have to turn the car around be late for the plane, miss the plane, could go back to the house to get this. I would have to do that. Um, this is, you've heard of the Brazilian treatment. They have that in high-end salons on both coasts and probably everywhere now. There's, we're really all one country. It used to be New York and LA were like the hipper places and they'd get the new stuff first, but it's all over the place now. So. The Brazilian treatment was, depending on the salon in the city, anywhere from five to seven hundred dollars a treatment. And but it was great because it lasted six weeks or so. So you go to the, your high end salon and they put the Brazilian treatment, whatever it was, including formaldehyde, a lot of formaldehyde. You put it on your head and you sit under a dryer with formaldehyde on your head for 45 minutes and then they wash it out and now your hair is all silky and straight like mine is right now but here's your brain and there's formaldehyde formaldehyde is what you use to embalm bodies okay so uh, someone caught wind of it because people were getting sick and they banned it <laughs> and they banned it they finally banned it but every, the women loved it and the women even knowing how bad it was for them kept uh, using it because 
Um, you know, if it makes you look that beautiful, maybe just one more time. Oh, and it gets rid of the frizz. It made it frizz. smooth and silky. Mm -hmm. Like you, got, you like could this. wake up with, you could wash wake your hair and just like sort of toss it dry, and it would look like yours. Yeah, she sounds like she did it. Maybe I did. Maybe she did it. You know, they used yeah. to use formaldehyde in uh, supermarket chains in the produce section. For what? They heavily diluted formaldehyde to spray the produce so they you last, this? last longer. Oh, isn't that great? Wow. And when did they decide it was a good idea to put poison on our food? I'll never know. Let me get back to this. We came up with it. You can see my hair. It, I've got that Brazilian, we call it true, true Brazilian. It's got absinian seed oil and meadow foam seed oil. Got any of that in your cupboard? Do you have that? <laughs> do I? <laughs> Here's what you do. You put like five pumps of this, 10 pumps. My hair, I use actually like 15. Carolina always goes, you do? Because you use what? I use four. Four. She uses four. I use 10. Alan uses 10. I think Caroline is underusing it, and Alan's probably overusing it, and I'm probably just right. <laughs> well, as God intended. <laughs> anyway, you wash your hair with the volumizing shampoo, you condition your hair with the volumizing conditioner, towel dry it, then you put your 5, 10, 15 pumps of this, whatever you find. You don't want to overuse it because then it'll get a little greasy. So start, start light. Start with four or five, and then if that's not enough to achieve this, then next time. Um, and then you blow it dry. I just throw my head over and with the hair dryer, just blow it dry. And then I get my flattening iron and just go foof, 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 and foof. It does another thing. It doesn't make your hair grow longer, but it protects the ends and it coats the ends with the meadow foam seed oil and absinian seed oil. And uh, when, when you take your flattening iron, it actually cooks those ingredients in, which strengthens the end and it doesn't break. And so therefore your hair keeps growing longer and longer because you don't get the breakage, if that's what you're interested in. Well, then, I have curly hair, uh -huh. it's a big event. It's, yeah. it's kind of been one of those every day since I've been a kid, like, do I have frizzy hair today? Really? Yeah, and I and grew I, up and in- And I've always looked at your hair going, why wouldn't you just let it go? No, but you know, I grew up in a foggy city. I grew up on, on the coast, so yeah. it was foggy a lot. And I would get up early, and do my hair before school, and I, I'd, I'd, I'd do the, all the, the blow drying, and then I'd put like the hot rollers in, and it would look so great. And I would walk to school, and then it would get all frizzy. Mm. So this mm. product has been an amazing. It's been a revelation for me because I can yes. get straight hair. I can get it blown out the way I, I want, but I can get volume because I, you know, I don't want the stick stick straight right. as much for me. I like to have a little more but it looks volume good when in you it. Do the stick stick straight. Both are, both are yeah. good, but yeah. I you love beautiful these hair. I hope you know you have beautiful oh, hair. Oh, thank you. I, I've, my hair has always been a signature for me too. Yeah. I had big right. curly hair right. as a kid, which was great when it looked great, Those but look great. But um, it has completely changed breakage, split ends. Did you do your hair today? Would you like to see it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I have some friends <laughs> asking to see my hair, so I'm going to pop in. Yeah. Not that your hair doesn't look great, Alan. No, I didn't do my hair today. I'm kidding. Why would you I'm... do your hair when we're doing a hair show? Oh, you like that side. Huh, Al? Well, because I'm the before. Oh, oh yeah, we could. You know, you could, we wedding. could. We, yeah. Or what about if you just put this on? Yeah. And on this hair, and see what happens. Okay. We could show before, and then we could show what it looks okay. like after. Right? Isn't yes. she pretty? Oh, thank she, you. She. Um, it's a long story, but this is who I wanted Bruce to marry. Kind of worked out. Yeah. Kind of worked. Kind of. Yeah. So I use. Not that I'm a pushy mother or anything, but you know, sometimes You're not. when you have, I'm not. Sometimes when you have sons, you gotta go like that. Like, do you not see what's right in front of you? You know, that's called an arranged marriage. An arranged marriage? Yeah. It wasn't quite, quite. Quite arranged. Well. But, but if you could have picked, you would have. So. I would have. Yeah. All right. It's nice. And I said, <laughs> she's so the one. So this is what I use today. And again, everything 30% off. The volumizing shampoo. Then I use the volumizing conditioner. Yep. Me then. Too. When I got out of the shower, I used the volumizing hair elixir at the root. Yeah, I know what that does. Before I dried it. Um, around each hair shaft, the, the, um, what, what affects the hair growth is if that gets clogged up and then the hair can't pu push through. So you want your hair to be able to push through to come out and go, hey, 
and that's what the elixir does. That's in Suzanne speak. Uh, that's my yeah. Over it strengthens your scalp. I mean, it's it my oversimplification. Yeah, nurture, yeah. nurtures your yeah. scalp. This. Yeah. Yeah. So I put yeah. this. Wouldn't you turn? Wouldn't you miss the plane? Because oh, what yeah, kind yeah. of week would you have on your yeah. vacation without it? No, and it's great for curly hair too. Yeah. When I do curly hair, I just go like this, and I just scrunch it, and it gives me like great, perfect yeah. curls. So I, you know, like I said, I use four pumps. I use it's, it's enough 14, for me. Sixteen. Um, and then I'm at the very end, yeah. this finishing. Be gloss, very, very. Don't let's see what you just. Did. I can use one yeah. pump. Yeah. And then you go like this. Yeah. And it just gets rid of the fly. Same thing with the perfectly waves. straight hair. I put it on. I already put it on today, and it just there's not one. I can't imagine there's a fly away, because I used all this stuff. I, you know, hair. Don't forget the hair skin nail supplement. And the hair Cause, skin and nails. Because the thinning hair grew back because of the hair skin nail supplement. Do you know I give that to you every day, Al? I know. You know what's great about Al? I just hand him stuff to take every day. He just takes it. Okay. Um, you guys, there is a discount code. Okay. Big Hair Thirty Let's is the see discount Al's code. Hair before. Okay. This is Al's curly hair. This is before. It's cute hair. Okay. It's scruffy and, and okay. cute. Okay. One, Al do anything? Did you see him last one, night with two, the mask three, on? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Let's see what happens to Al's hair. This is when he has dry curly hair. Dry. I, it's dry, it's not wet. It's not wet. Oh. Not wet. Yeah. Not that your hair is dry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, actually, is it cute on camera? Yeah. Looks great. It's a little... 82 years old. Amazing. He's still hot and sexy. There's a yeah. little bedhead. A little, yeah, this is a little stick there's, a, there's still a little bedhead. A little, stick a little water would have been good. But, but, but for the most part, we but get it. But the other thing, he's 82 years old. I give him the hair, skin, and nails. He shouldn't have that much hair. He doesn't have any hair loss. Your hair's great. You're not wrinkled very much. And let me see your nails. Nice nails. Thank you. Nice. So we're Is it good to live with me? All I do is compliment. I know. You. I know it's great. What do you need, Alan? The uh, uh, finishing gloss. The finishing? No, no, not the finishing. Oh, the gloss. styling gel. Styling gel. Oh. He loves the styling gel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Styling gel. When I want fuller hair, and when my hair is shorter, I I want it fuller all the time. And I put this, okay. I put this at the roots and under my bangs to lift everything up and kind of, you know, do that thing. Okay, here's uh, guy tips. Okay. You know what? We just didn't get all the mask off from last night. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you haven't even washed your face yet today, have you? No. <laughs> Why should I wash my face every day? <laughs> I don't you know, know what else is great? And again, for those of you asking, the promo code is Big Hair Thirty, thirty percent off everything at SuzanneSummers.com. That's great. Yeah, that's this how is... I get my bangs PC, not PC, PC, different. This is called the Volumizing Hair Styling Cream, and this is like a hair paste. Yeah, people with short hair love this. Men that love bangs. this. Oh, when I want to have, let me try some of that. Yeah, when okay. I have, when I want to do a, a PC long look, then I use that. It's amazing how many women come up to you uh -huh. and uh, pretend they're stroking your head because they love you, mm -hmm. but they're really feeling for uh, what do they call oh, extensions? Thing? Extensions, right? <laughs> Hi, Roberta. I take that as a compliment. That means you couldn't have that hair at your age. Is what this did too I do? much? You think no? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, and also because it's not wet or anything. Well, it's just more <laughs> like if you're someone who has short hair and you I've like to stick it up straight. Well, this will be good for your bed, Hetty. It's kind of looking good. Yeah. Yeah, it's this is this is a firmer hold the paste. Yeah. And you can use this like for day two hair, when you just kind of want to restyle your hair from the day. Now. And then I'll yeah. Oh wow, look, is he cute? Huh? Yeah, and then super cute. Yeah, it kind of did the bedhead thing. Over yeah. here a little, and a little there, yeah. So again, for yeah, for you guys, thirty percent off. So it's a now good time to stock up. On? Okay. Are you, are everything's you at. To me? No, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Everything's at SuzanneSummers dot com, and the promo code is Big Hair Thirty. Um, and yes, um, Diana, the paste is great for pixie cuts. Yeah, 
and when your bangs get like leopard, like Jill, like who was here yesterday, uh -huh. uses that pace. She does. Yeah, because she has short hair and mm -hmm. she can really like get a nice styling. Yeah, hers is like a PC. Are we losing Al? Are you going now? No, I'm just going okay. to watch that. Um, um, sorry, when... Instagram. I know you guys. This connection is going in and out, and I don't know why I tested the Wi-Fi over here. Um, SuzanneSummers.com promo code is Big Hair Thirty. And again, remember, we've also put Suzanne's, one of her best-selling supplements, the hair, skin, and nail supplement that completely grew back my hair. Yeah, um, you've had, really, I was a little worried off. about your hair in the summer because it yeah. really was getting thin. And she's back because, you know, they say our hair is our glory, but isn't it? If you, a, a bad day is when you have a bad hair day. It's just, you just don't feel great all day when your hair looks like crap. Well, and it's, you know, a lot of, a lot of people get to an age. It's not, it's not a pattern baldness thing, um, but it's a cortisol issue. When you're, if your cortisol gets high, you get this hair thinning. Yeah. Well, you know, aging is about worn out parts. Oof. And um, that's one of the things that wears out. That's what I write about is um, how to, how to uh, listen to the language of the body, which would be thinning hair, which would be one indicator would be cortisol or thyroid. And then... Um, put back which your body's no longer making in the uh, aging process we can live long, whatever long you time. told me to do I did, she did and it worked she did so yeah um, I also you have a couple questions from friends I like um, when you have questions ask me Becky said my hair is thin uh -huh. what can I use to make it look thick well I would say what we're doing the styling gel wash with this the volumizing which we have volumizing. two lines yeah nourishing and volumizing so you would wash go volumizing. with the volumizing shampoo and conditioner I would also use the hair elixir to um, let's just start waking up your your hair shaft cell thing, and then put the styling gel on at the roots. And when you dry it, lift it, you know, lift it, and and put your dryer in here just so that mm -hmm. styling gel will kind of uh, cook there, and then it should make it look a lot thicker. And then if it's too wild, which it could be, then use some of the gloss and. Um, I, yeah, and now, oh, so it's so it's beyond repair. You've overcolored. You've wrecked everything. Too much. You've had a lot of stress. You're not sleeping. Probably your hormones aren't right. You might then want to do the hair rescue mask. Oh, that's a good product. Yeah. Now I, after a, my show closed in Vegas, I loved it so much. This is so nice. Well, it's so amazing. I yeah. just want to. Like you're such a good spokesperson for your line. Anyway, I got stressed when my show closed because I love doing it and I didn't want it to close. Uh, and it wasn't anything to do. But it stressed me and my hair started breaking off like crazy. And I realized my hormones got off putting this on and wearing it to bed. Now, it's not great wearing to bed. You can do this, you know, in the shower. But in bed... Uh, all night it gets a little hard but I wanted my hair to come back so bad so I brought my hair back with this but I'd say once or twice a week in the shower put this on wet hair try to leave it on 20 minutes you know maybe I... before the bathtub then the shower and Jennifer Burgess loves it she loves it yeah okay Jennifer yeah again no chemicals remember here's your little insignia toxic free certified it's um I'm so proud of our products and I'm so glad, you know, when you say these things to me, I know you mean it because um, you have to go through, a, you waste a lot of money finding the right product. You know, that's all that, all that chemical shampoo and I business, I bought the best, the best, I paid the most and it dried out my hair and I started thinking about my message. My message is avoid chemicals at all costs as best you can and chemicals on my head and you know we have these moments in life where you go what are you thinking and when you say it to yourself you that's an aha moment um so, holly would like to know if it smells fabulous yeah all yeah, of her products see, smell this, fabulous oh even this the hair rescue mask is this um wild orange vanilla my favorite so for those of you who jumped in on suzanne selects last night um suzanne had the wild orange vanilla Rollerball yeah. essence oil as a, a little success. present for you in that box. Yeah, everybody loved that. I have some right now. On you? Here, here, and here. So that box yeah. is still, you can still get the Suzanne Selects. It's only $39.99, and Suzanne puts a lot of her products in there that she wants you to try. So you can look for that um, also still on the website yeah. and available. Yeah. That show was huge last night.
Was it? A lot of people jumped in on that box. Oh, because they like to have a tequila with me. <laughs> they like the good deal, too. <laughs> That's a present, such a good you get deal. A, get a present sent to you and a tequila. Yeah. <laughs> we should make our own tequila. Why are we, like, selling somebody else's tequila? Not that we sell it, but we're always pouring it. Well. Do you know how to make tequila? <laughs> I can learn. Yeah, you could. You could. We have to grow agave. Yeah. We have yeah. a couple of agave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you take the heart of the agave and you roast it, and then you distill it. Is he is he making this up now? No. No, it's it's correct. It's just True. not in the rescue hair mask. I'm always amazed Last at time everything you know. You're a font of information. You know a lot. Yeah. You know but you've been here longer than us. You know who, you know who knows, knows more than me? Who? who knows more than who? everybody? Who? Alex Trebek. Yes. Because he he's dealing with stuff. Facts and trivia every right. day. I know. So, um, Isla said, thank you for the discounts. She's purchasing her hair care products right now. Thanks, Isla. You're Isla, always very loyal to us. You, you are loyal, and you will love this. And um, it's what I use. I, uh, I, I can't sell it if I don't love it. That's my motto with our company. I really enjoy that we're doing products that are not only good for the planet, but good for you. None of our products can harm you in any way. Everything you put on your scalp, everything you put on your skin is going to end up in your bloodstream. So what ends up in your bloodstream from our products will uh, not harm you. In fact, it will enhance your health. These are all from nature. And uh, we're extremely proud of this line, extremely proud. So Susan Nelson puts her conditioner, um, I think she's talking about the rescue hair mask. She puts it on wet, wet hair, she puts, um, well, she says she uses a plastic grocery bag, but you could use a, you know, a shower cap too. And then she sits under the dryer for 10 minutes and then she rinses it out. That makes sense. Ooh. That probably achieves more than when I wear it to bed all night. I have to say, wearing it to bed all night, I was just desperate and I hadn't used it for very long. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a little unpleasant because it gets hard and it, it it's, I wouldn't do it. Put it on in the bathtub yeah. like she didn't put a shower cap or a plastic bag. So, Leah, you just go to SuzanneSummers.com mm -hmm. um, and click on the, right on the homepage, you'll see all the deals for the Facebook Live. And you can click on that. It'll take you to the page with all the hair. Everything's 30% off. Uh, Big Hair 30 is the promo code. Big Hair 30. And Don, um, Deanna, the discount code, usually, it lasts definitely for today, sometimes for two days. Um, so jump in and stock up while why you get this big discount. So, in a little while ago. When we oh, this is a good question. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I don't want to miss this. Jennifer said, do you use shampoo and conditioner after the hair mask? No, no. Oh, yeah, wait, you, no, You use no. it before. You well, use if you sleep in it on. Yeah. And then you wash it off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're right. You do? You use, I don't. You don't. No, the rescue. And I do. The, for me, the rescue hair mask is saying? just like a deep conditioner, and then I... After shampooing, but you wrote this. I did. <laughs> I did. So I wash my hair, and then right. I use conditioner, this conditioner. I guess that I uh, wash, I, I put it on, because I was putting it on in my sleep. I'm not using it right now, because my hair is in such good condition, ah. so I haven't used it since last summer. But I was putting it on, sleeping in it. Wasn't that fun? And then and um, then washing it. it. Okay, so morning. when and I, I use it, results, so. yeah, when I use it like two or three times a week, I wash my hair, and then I, when I want the deep, deep conditioning, I use the rescue hair but mask, then and then I rinse, rinse it out. out. But you don't shampoo it out. No, you just rinse it out. It's just a deep conditioner. Listen to Smarty Pants. She probably figured it out. She but you, so does. the answer is we we both do it different ways, and there's no right or wrong wrong way. It's just or what wrong. works. No, right no wrong, wrong way. No Do what way. works for you. Right, right. Do you know, uh, Alan and I say something, I've never told you this. Uh, we, when we're in different parts of the house, he'll buzz me and go, where is you? Do you know where that came from? No. Camellia. Camellia. Aww. She used to say, where is you? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> we always do that. Never, it's like part of our language. Where is you? Hey, how, Al, can you go over? I want to ask you guys some Valentine's questions. Come here, Al. Um, so, here. what do you guys have planned for Valentine's Day? Well, we were going to go out, and our fa favorite restaurant where we're going to go out is so oversold 
that you can't go to the bar because there are going to be tables there, and it's going to rain here tomorrow. But you know what? I don't like going to that place on or any place. Christmas, yeah. New Year's, yeah. Thanksgiving. You know. So it's just me and Al, and um, I'm making a rather spectacular dinner, and I'm going to do a baby rack of New Zealand and sea salt and cracked pepper and a little hot red pepper and mm. then I sear it in the pan mm. and then I put it in the oven for 16 minutes mm. and then bring it out and slice it and it's pink and juicy and I've got some um, pesto still from the summer and I can put some pesto over it yeah and then we're having hot chocolate souffles oh. with cold whipped cream Aww. and chocolate sauce mm. Mm. And oh, I know, and she tomato oh, soup and this. tomato soup before we start roasted tomato soup like I made, and then perfect. You, yeah, so you get the red, then you get the rack of lamb, and then a chocolate souffle. How great! And that's when Alan always puts the diamond ring in my glass, <laughs> <laughs> and it's I I act surprised every year, but every year I know <laughs> when I get to the bottom of the glass, oh. you go, "What's that?" <laughs> Gigi wants to know why you're not hiring a personal chef. Because there isn't really one, honest, this is awful. No, it's not awful, it's true. It's true. It's, there's nobody you can cook better than That's me. Right. It's me true. and Caroline, or Caroline and I, we're the two best cooks I know. I mean, you, you've got more New York Times best-selling cookbooks yep. than most chefs who run the food probably, channel. Probably, probably. Yeah. I love it. I, I th always well, thought I made I'd... your tomato soup for my Valentine party. And how party. did it go over? It was amazing. You know, I did it as an appetizer Yeah. with grilled oh, cheese fingers. Did. So I, I served a little espresso cup yeah. of your soup and then like a hot, amazing grilled, just a little finger and a dunk. Wow, people mm. freaked over that. Mm. I freaked over it. When I, when I looked at it, I went, oh, she so topped it with the, uh, she made the, 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 what kind of bread was that? Dave's seed bread. Wow. Really good bread. Where do you get Dave's seed bread? At Whole Foods. Next time you come down, bring me a, a, a okay. I want that. And then she shaved pecorino well i did i think he had he might have a gluten-free i want the regular yeah bring one of each i use the cheeses i used were gouda um fontina baby swiss extra sharp white cheddar mm -hmm. and pecorino so she in equal amounts and then and a lot of butter a lot of butter and then turns it over and as you're looking at this sandwich frying in the pan you're going oh my god i want that and then she cut it in diagonal fingers. So each person got a little cup of the roasted tomato soup and a grilled cheese finger sandwich, just for starters. Just for starters. I ended up kind of doing the whole meal as comfort foods. Yeah. yeah. I may I served French fries with dinner. I did well, a, like a fancy ranch dressing. Yeah. It's ranch, but it's homemade, so it's buttermilk and chopped herbs and a ton of Oh, that was and really onions. interesting, your salad with the papitas. Papita croutons. Yeah, that yeah. was really something. You know, if anybody out there knows where I can get organic, gluten-free hot dog buns <laughs> that aren't like rocks, yeah. uh, I'd okay. love to know. I'll look for you. You know what you're saying when you're serving um, comfort food? It's what Alan always says. Alan likes little boy food. Yeah. Give yeah. him french fries, give him a little slider burger, give him a, a hot dog, but done perfectly. With the, you know, I mean, people are excited at an at an elegant uh -huh. dinner party uh -huh. when all of a sudden you're like, French fries. Yeah, right. that you're not getting the usual thing that people serve. Yeah, and then I did chocolate souffles. I'm not quite as expert as expert as you are in my. I didn't cook them exactly right. The first batch were great. The second batch I could have used did. another couple. Well, I think actually, you just had somebody else. Suzanne's in. had a lot of practice with chocolate souffles. She has because the first time she cooked dinner for me in the late '60s. She made a chocolate souffle. I wanted to win this guy over. That was perfect. That's so sweet. And and, and where did I feed me? It? Where were you lying? On the shag carpet. Hey, my, you guys, it's starting to rain. My chocolate brown yeah. shag carpet. I was, yeah. I had no money, but I was hip and cool, and my, and I, I did quail. Quail. Wow. And the chocolate souffle. Quail. And then and I she did. She fed me the ice cold. A big cold bowl of, of ice cold whipped, whipped cream, cream yeah. and then the both on one spoon. Okay, yeah, I have to answer so... a couple questions because we're about to get rained out. Yeah. Suzanne's books are all at SuzanneSummers.com. You can find them on there. If you want to see my recipes, they're on my Instagram, Caroline Summers, or on my Facebook page. Oh, I guess we're going um, to have to leave. And it's now raining and we're going to wreck your hair, <laughs> so yeah. we're going to go in. Yeah, but thanks point? everyone for joining Thank us. You. SuzanneSummers.com, 30% off. I really off. love all of you, and I mean that. Big You're hair 30. Great. Bye. It's snowing up in the... Look at the snow up in the mountains.